Welcome Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Timestamps are always in the description box below. Alright, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ways to be known, seen, and understood for the Libra Collective. Alright. Two of Cups. Okay. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or some very strong Scorpio in their chart. Two of Cups does show that there is a very strong connection between two people. Okay. You and this person definitely may share past lives together. Uh, definitely could have a soul contract, um, strong soulmate energy. You know, there's obviously an intense emotional connection. This could even be a friendship for some of you, you know. This could be like your best friend, you know. And I think that you're both looking at each other. You're both aware of the feelings you have for each other. But it's almost like they're distant. They're phys it's like you're spiritually together, but you're not physically with this person. Like you want to be with this person, but you feel, you know... It's like you're, you're not able to physically have them. It's like there's, you know. And the reason for this, we have the death card. Which shows that something ended between you and this person. But where there is death, there's endings that, you know, there's the potential for new beginnings. Transformation. So let us get more information. I'm getting really emotional. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly starting to get like really teary eyed, you guys. This is like a really intense energy. Who just had, had um what sign did I do? Scorpio. I think it was Scorpio. Sometimes I don't always remember the readings that I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <sighs> Forbidden love is kind of like the energy that I'm getting here. Five of Pentacles shows that, you know, you're missing this person. You feel left out in the cold, shut out from this person, and they're feeling the same way. Please ignore my nails. I know they look horrible. We have the Fool here, which is Aries energy, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there'll be a chance to renew this. I do. I feel like you've both been kind of waiting just to see how things are going to unfold. This feels like a very risky connection. Okay, this feels like somebody may have said or done something very foolish, and they have some regrets about it. Because things end up between you and them. And it's like a, a waiting for a revival. Waiting to come back together. Waiting to see how things are going to unfold. What's going to happen to the two of you. Destiny. Fate. And there's, like I said, obviously there's a very strong soulmate connection here. Two people who are like meant to be in each other's lives. Alright, let's start. You love this person and they love you very much. There's no doubt about that. The emotions are mutual. They're very strong. Some of you may even share like telepathic connection with this person. Um, some of you may kind of sense and feel this person with you, even if they're not physically there. Um, you may have dreams about this person. The, I mean, the issue here is that it ended. Now, I mean, there could have been a Scorpio that kind of, you know, sabotaged this connection or came between you and this person. But the death card says that something in it's something to close out something that's over finalized there was sneaking around happening here seven of swords you know that's telling me that uh there was lies things that were hidden things that were secretive you know it could have been this connection now i mean w one or two things i mean either this person was keeping secrets from you. You found out about it. You got pissed off. You said, I'm, I'm over this. I'm done with it. For others of you, your connection to each other was secret. It was hidden. There was something about it that couldn't be exposed. It was a lot of sneaking around back and forth. And 
there were a few clues that someone was able to follow. So, like someone didn't clear their history or delete a message or wh whatever. Something was left behind. Somebody followed the clues. Somebody was being watched. And again, this could be really specific because it's not for all of you. And so, again, I don't know if, I'm not sure here because, again, this is general, so it's going to resonate differently for each of you. If this person was the one that was lying to you specifically and you found out you saw the truth or if someone else saw it and it was in regards to you because i'm getting like forbidden love like we're not supposed to be together we have these feelings but we're not supposed to be together we're not supposed to look at it we're not supposed to yearn for each other kind of energy and what, what's sitting here with this four of cups this is a disappointment rejection so i'm very discontent with how things are somebody wanting more they see that divine cup being handed down from the heavens they can't take it because they already have cups. They've got more than enough on their plate. They can't take more. They have to abandon their three cups. And look, there's already a rodent here trying to kind of get in. And, you know, because they're, they're paying attention to this new cup, to your cup, to the connection that they feel with you, the emotions they have for you, the ace of cups, the new beginning in love. But they have to abandon what they already have to, in order to take that, to drink from that. They can't have both. And with the situation, how things ended, if you're wondering about that, you know, do they care? You may feel like they do, but you maybe you don't have that confirmation and you're asking that because I feel like someone's asking that. It bothers them. They're upset. They're very unhappy with how things are right now. Now, some of you, if you're still somewhat involved with this person, like maybe your connection's very on and off again. You know, and it's like one minute, it's go, one minute, it's like it's back and forth. Like I say, be careful. I do see potential for pregnancy here. Hidden pregnancy. That's for some of you. Again, not for all of you. Um, there is potential here in this connection. Now we have Taurus Libra energy. This is you, male or female. The Empress is about growth. The, the Empress is Queen of Queens. Okay, the mother of the tarot. She is the ultimate woman. Okay, so, you know, the ideal partner, something that you know, you wish for, hope for, right? She symbolizes pregnancy, which is not just about physical children being born, but it's about something that's grown, protected, nurtured, the potential to create something new, new life, birth to something, you know, the, and the potential is there for the two of you to come together. There are secrets here. Things that do not, you don't want revealed or this person doesn't want known. There are things that are hidden here. I feel like there's a continuous meeting or exposure to each other. It, and I don't know why I'm getting hidden in plain sight. This could be a really, really specific kind of reading. Please check your other placements if it's not your story. Don't get offended. That just means that this came through for somebody else this week. And there's a lot of you. For example, you know, I'm a Virgo sun, but I have strong Leo in my chart. I have a Leo stellium which means three or more placements in Leo, which means that it overrides my chart and I typically resonate more to that than my sun sign, okay, a lot of the time. So that's what I mean. Check your other placements. I, I see things that are hidden here. I see things that, you know, emotions are not expressed. It's, it's not made public, your connection. It's like there's things may continue to kind of grow behind the scenes, but nothing is being told. It's a mystery. Nobody, it's like if, if this is resurrects, nobody knows about it. It's quiet. With this Queen of Wands, now you could have strong fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sag, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Again, gender is irrelevant. But Queen of Wands, you know, is showing me that there's this.
passion that you feel for this person, this drive, this determination, like you want to make this work against all odds. You know, you're not willing to back down. You're, you know, you're very determined. You want to be together. You see this so clear. You know, she has this ambition, this perseverance. Like she, she, you know, she's not giving up without a fight. Queen of Wands is also the most beautiful queen of the deck. So I feel like, you know, you're very desirable. You know, there's definitely an attraction here. Now, the, now some of you, like I say, the Queen of Wands can represent a mistress as well. So some of you may be a secret lover, okay? I feel like you're trying to communicate your truth to this person. And you're waiting to hear their response. This could have ended because you told them or you plan or you plan to tell them again this could represent past present future or for you time's fluid no matter when you see this or whatever the date says doesn't matter right um it's like i don't want to be a secret i don't want to be a, someone on the side I, you know i want to be your only i don't want to keep doing this i want more i want growth i want potential some of you are even saying this because you're with child or you want to have a family um, but Knight of, of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. It's like you are being very blunt and direct and you, you are like, th th I want more. I want movement. I want to see the truth. I want truth. I want it to be known. I'm yours and you are mine. And there's anxiety and fear here because now this person has to make a decision. You know, what are they going to do? Knight of Swords, you're feel you may feel very restless. And you're hoping that you're going to get news from this person. But you also have all these anxieties and fears that it's not going to work out. Or this person may completely cl close off from you if, you know, you give them the ultimatum. It's me or them. Or it's, you know, if, if, you, don't if you don't tell people, you know, it's whatever the case may be, right? And so it's like, you know, that this is a risk. It's a gamble. Like you're, you're, I mean, you could get everything that you want here, but it's like, we can't continue this. If it keeps going on this way, you need more. The outcome is waiting though. You know, the seed was planted. You tell this person, right? You, you told them, it's like, this is what I want. This is, I'm not willing to compromise, you know? So you're waiting. You've told them, you, you've expressed it to them. Now you wait to see what they're going to do. You know, will they move forward? Will they make a choice? Do they make the decision? You feel, you both know it can be revived, but this person has a lot to think about. Because they know, they're seeing that cup, they see what you've given them. You know, the love that you've declared. And again, you have free will. You can choose to do whatever you'd like to do. I'm just here to show you the ultimate possibilities and the potential for the future that I see directly in, in for me, what I'm, what I'm given, right? I'm just here to share that with you so that you know the best possible scenarios or outcomes, what you can expect. Um you've given them something to think about this card here says look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way i think you've already done that you've already done that reflection and kind of figure it out you know you want more you, you know you don't want to be somebody's secret or something that's hidden you need more and this person's gonna have to be willing to meet you halfway because it's like you've walked you both miss each other you, you both love each other you both feel this is destined but, you know, whatever the circumstances are here, this person's going to have to do the same thing. They're going to have to look inside themselves and examine why they feel this way. Why are things hidden? What are they afraid of? You know, what are they willing to risk to make these changes here to be together again? Because you're not willing to settle for less. Let's see what messages this person wants to pass to you. What messages do they want to pass to you? I've been searching for you online. So again, if you guys are a distance from each other or there's separation or things have been kind of on and off, whether you guys are connected on social media or not, they have been looking for you. They've been trying to find you, get information about you. They're curious about you. They're thinking about you. You're heavily on their mind. And some of you I know are going to be like, I don't even have social media. I don't deal with that crap. You do not have to have, you know, a Facebook or a Twitter for someone to look you up. They can look at your company's website, look for a picnic photos they can go to your friends and family's pages they can just google search you and just try to see what comes up you know they can ask people about you they can do some investigating right 
You've taught me how to love and be loved. And I have cried for you. Yeah. You're unlike anyone else they've ever met. They have such strong feelings for you. They they are very emotional for you. They have cried for you. They have mourned for you. And they still want to be able to resurrect this with you. Um, they've tried looking you up. They've watched you from afar, from a distance. Because there is separation here. I feel like the line was drawn. It was like, I can't go on like this anymore. You know, I'm feeling this kind of way because I deserve more. Because I want more. Because I need more. And you need to be able to give me that. So you're both feeling left out from each other. You're both missing each other, thinking about each other. You've kind of laid it on the line for this person. This is what I want. This is what I need. You know, and if you're not willing to give me that, you know, bring things to light. Make it public. Choose me. Make it known that I'm going to have to walk away. It's like the ultimatum was given and now the person has to make a decision. I I mean, I'll be honest with you when I say you both. And again, time energy is fluid. This could change for some of you. Okay. Right now in this current energy. This, you're both still waiting. Outcome is waiting. No, there's, you know, there's no contact here. It's like you've told them what you need. And now they're having to reflect on it. They're having to think about it. They're crying. They're mourning. They're grieving. They, they're looking at you from a distance. And they're trying to kind of get clear in their mind. They don't know what to do. It's like they feel lost without you. But they know that it's risky. They know that they feel like two of you are meant to be together. Like I said, and they're, they feel lost. They're trying to kind of get clear in their mind. You've given them a lot to think about. So that's what I have for you. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you who have generously sent in donations. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.